Well, it all happened right here. This is this is the neighborhood I grew up in. I always thought I would grow up and be one of the guys that come out of this area and be successful and play pro ball and college ball. In my junior year, I got to start varsity. Uh, me and Todd happened to be in the backfield together. And uh, my senior year, I, I told my father, I said, I'm going to be the leading rusher in the city. And I accomplished that goal. I think I was probably one of the best football players that came out of the state of Kansas. I, I truly believe that. When I lost my uh, scholarship in college and got kicked out, I, I just didn't care. I didn't care about myself, my family, people around me. I just turned into a menace to society. I, uh, my, my hopes and dreams were gone. My, I went into a deep depression. I, I didn't care. I felt like it was the end of the world. I just laid my head wherever I could. I was homeless at one time. I walked these streets sleeping wherever I could because my parents wouldn't let me come in their house. And I ended up sleeping in other people's homes. I went in, in some of these houses and took things out of people's houses and, and looked them straight in the eye and like I didn't do anything and to uh, supply my drug addiction. I was addicted to crack cocaine for 16 years of my life. I uh, did four years in prison. I saw myself being among those men and the attitude I had in there was I was trying to think of what I'm going to do different when I got out so I wouldn't get caught again, but my attitude and behavior was still the same. So I, I took advantage of a lot of people in this neighborhood, not only my, my family, but people that really cared about me. I sold a lot of drugs. I, I sold drugs out of three of these houses on this block directly across the street from my parents' house. And my parents knew. They seen cars come up day after day, hour after hour, minute after minute. And I'm just, I go out to the cars and I'm reaching in car windows and giving drugs for money and they see that my mom would just stand over there. I can see her crying sometime. And she would just shut the door. I could see her looking out the window. My father used to sit on the porch and, and just look at me, wouldn't say a word. And I knew he was dying. I knew he was sick. Uh, I, I would sell drugs to anyone who would come to my house and I didn't care if they were young or old, if they had money. I had the attitude, it's better them than me. I went to the store to get some alcohol and things I needed. And when I returned, I, I see my whole house surrounded by police officers, sheriffs. The front door was literally knocked off the hinges. My wife, I could see her laying in there on the floor handcuffed. I knew my baby was in there crying, my daughter. When, when the police raided my house, all I could think about was losing my kids. And I know when anytime you're in a drug bus or anything, uh, the state comes in to take your kids from you. And I just knew that that time would come where I would lose my family uh, and everything.